Welcome to Mango Bay. Today we talk about, actually, Sam and I are geeking out about the show Shogun. We talk about Malala collaborating with Hillary Clinton. We talk a little bit about Gaza. Come on in. Mango Bay, Mango Bay. Uh Mango Bay. Mango Bay. Mango Bay. Mango Bay. For the exclusive content, don't forget to join our Patreon at patreon.com slash mango bay. Mango, 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 mango bay. Welcome to Mango Bay. Hello, mm. Mango Bay, one-stop shop for South Asian recklessness. Mm-hmm. We are two best boys, Usama Siddiqui. Pranav Bihari. And we are comedians in the mother-loving scene out here bringing the South Asian wilderness Tamasha stories. Truly mother-loving, because we're a couple of mama's boys. Dude, and let's let's up the loving. Let's up the loving. And I'm not going to go, for because I'll go, but you know what we're talking about. Um, <laughs> Patreon.com slash Mango Bay, what is up? We got the Discord server popping. We got the early access episodes where the news is more hot, more tight, the, more... The takes are even hotter. Face. We've got archived episodes. That's our spiciest spiciest content behind Absolutely. the paywall there. Absolutely. Uh, and it's pretty cheap, too. Come on, $7 an hour. $7 a month. Whoops, just kidding. I didn't mean to say the orphans uh, uh, in Karachi which salary. Which is like what? what? What is that? Like 20 cents a day? 20 cents a day. Something like that? You can raise... 23 cents a day? You can raise half an orphan off that. Listen, if we're, to, are we talking about a white orphan, then no. That's different. But you're talking about two brown orphans? Yes. Are you kidding me? I don't know. Bologna's pretty cheap nowadays, man. I feel like you can... white kids just want bologna. Hit them with some bologna. That's all they want. <laughs> they don't want any other food groups. Bologna. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't think I've seen bologna in ages. I mean, it's getting more and more white and a color that's not even in nature ever. Right. So like, I when I uh, buy food for myself, I go pretty cheap. So I go to like Key Foods and I buy for the week. And this bologna Are you is eating getting straight up bologna sandwiches like a hobo. Used to, used to. <laughs> no, you used to. You said you're still doing it. And I haven't bought food for myself in maybe a couple months. But okay. when I, you know, when I do, uh, it's uh, there's bologna in there. <laughs> so what goes in your bologna sandwiches? Uh, I have a little, um, <laughs> like a really the stiff bread, and uh, I have like a little, um, like a wet spinach, and then I wait do a little... wet spinach. This is this is so disgusting. I already. know. I know. Okay, what and do you mean it's wet spinach? Well, spinach gets wet if you leave it out. You know what I'm saying? Like the it like the, the, wa- the water escapes the leaves and it becomes less taut and okay, hard. It's not wet. It's just wilted spinach. It's flaccid. It's flaccid leaves. I have flaccid leaves on okay. my... And then I do a little sriracha. And then I, uh, then I eat it, sadly. That is a, a truly cursed sandwich that yeah, you bro. just mentioned. Starting okay. with the stiff bread, the bologna... Which is automatically just purely processed. Bread, too much boner. Leaves, not enough. You know, it's a pretty horrific. The sriracha saves Any the condiments? You got any mayo? Uh, you said the sriracha. Sriracha. Which gets is, in there. this is so disgusting. Of course. Oh, my God. Of course. And this is, I, we sh- white guys cuisine all the time, but Usama poverty cuisine also, man. That's like jail. That's like yeah. a jail sandwich. Yeah. In fact, people would have that in jail be like, just butt f- me, dude. Uh, what happened to the algorithm? Whoops. <laughs> just butt frick me, dude. <laughs> Just butt frick me Bleep that Joe We're serious about the algo We're serious about the algo <laughs> And you know, you just sent me a text the other night You're like hey man Gotta keep it clean you know Gotta keep it clean It's it's holding us back on the algo <laughs> You know you had a whole game plan there And <laughs> uh, no Listen I'm the kind of comic where If my mind says butt fuck I'm, I'm saying sorry bleep it again Just two bleeps Joe it's not a big deal It's not a big deal Sorry okay? Joe Alright Sorry. All right. I'm Do you want to just get something else out of the way? He'll be in the same time frame. <laughs> Do you want to say any racial slurs? Poopy poop. Or? Poop N word. <laughs> um, yeah, dude. I, I mean, when I was poor, I would. Uh, I mean, people have stories about this when I was uh, in comedy like nine years ago with really nothing. And I would be bring like little like mason jars full of carrots and just eat carrots for a whole open mic. <laughs> Dude, and then I could see how bad those comics were. I could, I was because your vision was better. Exactly. <laughs> there we go, Joe. I love and a few. And by the end of the mic, I could see everyone's lack of future in the comedy business. <laughs> uh, dude, it was. I used to eat like just like wet fruits and like wet. Why is wet <laughs> the theme of all the food right now? 
I don't get it. <laughs> That's poor people food, but you don't understand. It's all not. poor people food is wet. It's not. <laughs> P. It's all wet because there's just. It's just water based and wet, and that's how they cut all the poor people. Yeah, food. you know, and if uh, you know, if I got a bonus or something at DoorDash, I go out and have to get myself a wet steak. <laughs> you know, eat up a wet steak, wet baked potato. <laughs> yeah. How do you want your uh, steak done? Wet like, skittles for dessert. How, how do you want your steak? Like nothing. Wet. Just, give just it wet. Nice and wet. As wet as you can give it to me. <laughs> blue and blue, <laughs> <laughs> just wet. Yeah, I had a lot of wet food. I was I was eating a lot of wet food, um, and I would have like this like dry <laughs> peanut butter and wet food, and just dude, nothing was the right level of moisture. <laughs> nothing was ever the right level of moisture when you're poor. I'm telling you that right now, uh, dude. I was so unhealthy. But I told you the story. I would I would like wait till I was like I had stomach pains, and I would get one bagel from the halal cart, uh, the halal cart bagel. You mm. know what I'm talking about? Like the ones were like it was not even. Their main thing was halal food. And right, they had so bagels. you being so skinny when I first met you really wasn't a fun- genetic function. It was actually no. just because you're eating like one wet sandwich a day. <laughs> <laughs> it's because of the wet diet that you were on. Yeah, and I was creating bits about white people having shitty cuisine. I was like, I was living that life. I, yeah, I was so disingenuous. Really coming from a real... <laughs> <laughs> knowing real, knowing what they do. Not that white people have wet sandwiches, <laughs> right? Uh, and I was like, what? And one guy from Iowa was like, this guy's spitting right now. <laughs> this guy's spitting. Yeah, man, I had a... Uh, I was, dude, it was... <laughs> It was just not good. I would I would microwave spaghetti for thirty minutes. I mean, it, was, it was just disgusting, dude. Microwave it for thirty minutes. Yeah, dude. Because <laughs> it wasn't <laughs> wet enough. You need to make it real sloppy and soggy. I didn't have a stove working, so I had to. Everything was through microwave. <laughs> and to get spaghetti to get going, you have to microwave for at least like fifteen, twenty. The minutes. noodles, you mean? Yeah, the noodles. What would you say your food pyramid was like back then? It wasn't a pyramid. It was more. <laughs> that- it was just like a. <laughs> it was a circle. A pyramid is too. It was a circle in the shape of baloney. And gorgeous. Wet baloney. It was more of a dam because everything was wet. It was just pushing against. It's water based. Uh, yeah. That's a long way, dude. Dude, it was, yeah. Oof. What do you What do you eat now these days? Uh, nowadays I'll have like a. I love a breakfast burrito. Big breakfast burrito guy. Bagels. I eat out a lot though. Still. Mm. Cereal, oat milk. Okay. Uh, eggs. Okay. Do you ever get nostalgic for a good wet sandwich? Dude, sometimes just... I'll, I'll be having a sandwich. I'll put it under the sink just to get it going. <laughs> I'll start crying a little bit. Like, oh yeah, good times. Uh, yeah, dude. <laughs> the, the wet sandwich. I'll bring. I'll bring y'all a little wet sandwich one day. Y'all can y'all can cosplay as me when I was twenty three. <laughs> I mean, imagine you're like, mm, it's, it need this to be more like a curry, so you get it all wet and kind of becomes like a sandwich curry. <laughs> Do a little sprinkle. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. People season their food. I'm, 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 I'm going the other you way. You moisturize I, it. Yeah, I'm, 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 adding, I'm adding lotion to my food. <laughs> I guess also when it's wetter, it just goes down quicker. That's, That's why they I'm do saying. it in like the hot dog contest. Yeah, man, it was not. It was, it was that level. I was kobayashing it a little bit. No. Uh, it was, it was a, a soggy. It was a soggy life. That was a horrible trajectory for a hot dog eating contest. Yeah, where it's really supposed to be yeah. about like who's just the most robust, big. Big, you yeah. know, hunky man yeah. out there who can put down a lot of hot dogs. Yes. And then it just became demented people who were like, let Dude. me optimize how I eat, how I ingest a hot dog. You knew it was bad when it was like, it went from that fun, jolly old yeah. man with a beard to like seven skinny Japanese dudes. Yeah, like, like, we have to dunk <laughs> it in water. <laughs> what is this? Jap- Japan- Japanese people really be ruining stuff sometimes. Yeah. Because yeah. they like take it to the nth degree. It's not fun anymore. It's yeah. like, how do I Bushido code hot dogs? Yeah. And you're like, this is lame. Oh, I, watch, I watch Shogun, dude. I you, you love it. it. You fucking love it, it don't you? It's so good. It's so good. Oh, the character so good. work, the the small little nuances in the writing when they're I translating know. and I like know. how Mariko like uses her personality to translate how she wants. I mean, beautiful little t- touches. Yeah. Great characters. Drama. So I just love how spiteful the Japanese are. We're like, oh, I'm not going to get my wife. going to kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> they're kind of like a white girl in that way. I'm like, well, fine. How am I just kill myself then? Dude. Toranaga. Ja- Japanese people be slicing their intestines yeah. for nothing. For nothing. For nothing. And not just kill themselves. Yeah. The most painful death. Literally, it's like case of the Mondays. Yeah. Don't need this anymore. <laughs> really on some heavy duty. Yeah. Killing themselves. And then the one girl's like, why would you let me kill myself? No, I want to kill myself. It's like, oh, and, no chill. And then they're like, you're... Stop it. Stop being a baby. 
yeah, your baby just got killed because, <laughs> yeah, your, yeah. because your husbands spoke up out of turn. Yeah, <laughs> deal with it. Literally, they were like, it's so insane. Like this whole, you, you realize like, and that's kind of how it was too. Like the noble family. Never have I more wanted to be a peasant in a culture. In Japan? Like, give me the shit job. Give me the untouchable. I, <laughs> I clean up cow shit. No, even they have to die, though. Are they? I don't think Remember they have the, the gardener? Same. Oh, yeah. Where he had to remove a rotting pheasant. But because the guy, it was like, it was it was really something out of the Mahabharata. Where was he was beautiful. like, hey, anybody does this, they should die. <laughs> LOL. Jokey, jokey. Phenomenal storyline, though. So basically, the storyline is when the, uh, the white guy has a pheasant he wants to... Uh, Basically, British people used to leave it out to li- to make it delicious. I don't know the ancient British a British wet, a wet pheasant technique they wanted, of wetness. They like a good wet pheasant. I don't see what the problem is, man. He's just trying to get this thing nice and wet for use. <laughs> but he leaves his pheasant out, and basically he tells the entire uh, village he can't touch it or his household anyway. And his household, Japanese people, they're under him, so they take it very seriously. Any command, and basically, it got so bad that one Japanese guy sacrificed his life to save. The noses of everyone else in the village. Yeah, and his his uh, punishment was death. Yeah, so he died. He was like, "I'm already sick." Is dude, yeah, yeah. It's like, dude, it's like, like they need to chill, like a little bit, a little bit, dude. Like, remember that video I sent you of like the diary of a mediocre samurai mm-hmm. in medieval Japan or whatever? Yeah, like even he, it was something like, "Oh God, what was it?" It was like. You know, he just he messed up something and he, he was like, and I insisted on killing myself until somebody stopped me. I was age nine. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> Can you guys just calm down? Well, you know what happened with that guy? His kid, seeing his dad, became one of the best Navy admirals of all time or one of the best like warriors ever. Oh, that guy? His kid, yeah. Ah. So his kid saw his loser dad and he's like, this guy fucking sucks. But I love that yeah. guy. But also, I like yeah. his story where yeah. he's like, he was like, I was climbing down some rocks and then I ripped one of my testicles. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and I couldn't walk for like three days. And then I was sick for like six months and I didn't tell anybody. I'm like, Japanese people, chill. That's the other version of Seppuku where you take your own balls <laughs> and then you slice left and right to your own balls and you just give yourself a castration. You die. Dude. And then, you know, I love too, yeah, like, it's like the same stories we all have, but super Japanese. Yeah. You know, they'll be like, you know, no one wants to fuck me, unlike that hot guy Morimoto. <laughs> yeah. Everyone wants to fuck Morimoto. It's like, it's the same guy. It's, it's the jock, the jock samurai who got all the honeys. Yeah. You know? Because he knows how to tie a, tie a man bun knot better than anyone else yeah, in the I village. Know. And does everything have to be a ritual? <laughs> yeah. Does everything have to be a ritual <laughs> with these guys? They're at their j- they're intense. They're Everything. Intense. Dude, I mean, and also Mahabharata has this very deeply. You know what I'm saying? Yes, they do. They do. If What if standing on business was your entire culture, right? And if you say something. I mean, that is true, right? You know what and I'm saying? And that is definitely true throughout the Mahabharata. But it's just like the level of minutia with the mm-hmm. Japanese where they, you know, they're like, and then he did the taking a poop ceremony. Dude. You know? <laughs> And he was renowned for creating perfect spirals with his poop. <laughs> he was the best. <laughs> they made a haiku about it. You know, Jiro <laughs> dreams of poopy. <laughs> Jiro dreams of poopy. <laughs> right? Where it's like literally everything. <laughs> literally everything. You know, for eight years, I, w- I could just push. I couldn't actually let, it, let the poop out. Mm. And then after eight years, mm. they, I knew how to, I was allowed <laughs> to release my poop. But for eight years, I had to just, you know. <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, my favorite character in that is Yabushige. He's the best because he's, he's like the, he's he, the most rakish and least. He's just like ah, he's the one who least stands on bro, business. He's the, he's the most uh, like us. <laughs> yeah, he is. He's the most like us because he's like because he, he wants all the titles, <laughs> but none of the Japanese shit with it. Yeah, exactly. He's like, can I just have this, guys? He's the most American guy. He would love it in like London at that time. Yeah, exactly. He just goes in, and everyone's getting drunk, yeah. everyone's getting laid. And the guy who's cast at is perfect. Yeah. He's like a he's like a Toshiro Mifune yes. kind yeah. of dude. Chill ass guy. Uh I but then he also has the Japanese, you know, concepts too. But and he's like a badass warrior. So he has all these things that's like that was passed down to him. But really he just wants to play some Fortnite. And like he's in the wrong era. That yeah, guy just wants to he fucking. Does. He wants to be like the mediocre samurai. Yeah, from, from yeah, the YouTube he, video. <laughs> you know, it is it is so crazy. Like the level of vow that's in uh, Japanese culture at that time in the Shogun time period. Yeah. You know, like, you know, it's like, honey, you said you were gonna take out the trash. Oh fuck, 
I did. Yeah. Dude, I remember I dated a Japanese girl a long time ago. One of my first real girlfriends. Maki. I love you, Maki. But one time she she wanted to get married. I was like too young for that. And I was like, she was like, do you want to get married? I was like, I don't know. She's like, yeah. I'm going to kill myself. Oh, nice. And I said to her, I was like, don't be so Japanese about it. And she immediately busted up laughing. And she was like, you're right. I took being Japanese too far. <laughs> And then, and you're like, she's dead now. But you know, I remember whenever she would cry, it was like an anime cry where like right. you tears would literally squirt out of her <laughs> face. And I was just like, what's going on? I like a wet woman too, by the way. Yeah, I know. I I know a wet that. face, wet sandwich, wet woman. It's all <laughs> give it to me wet. Uh, yeah, dude, I, I I would not survive in Japanese culture pretty quick. I, I think. In, I'm like the, I'd be like a two year old, and they'd be like, listen, you gotta kill yourself, man. Yeah, <laughs> You've made nine infractions. I know. You ruined your diaper. That's fucking already enough. Fuck you. Yeah. And Dude. they're always wearing diapers up until old old age in there. Oh, yeah. You mean a that's summer? They're all, all of them, that's like their underwear. It all looks like diaper. Oh, hell yeah. There are some of the most beautiful Japanese women on planet Earth in that, in that movie. In the, in show. the show, like the the courtesans are all just like hot Ki- as Kiku? hell. Kiku, Kiku, man, or whatever her name was. Kiku, do you love me, dude? Um, <laughs> so, so 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 good. Kiku, do you <laughs> love me? Hey, are you riding? <laughs> mm-hmm. Anyway, uh, dude, I I'm so glad you like that show. It's like fucking the perfect. show is so good. I'm bummed that they just isn't. I don't know if I believe out. some of the things in the show like that what? are like. Like, does every samurai know poetry? I don't fucking believe that. Yeah, I know. I know. Like, there's a certain like, level where it's like, come really, on, guys, dude? Just calm down. You spend your whole life fighting, and also you're like, the blossoms on the cherry. Yeah, and the thing is, Bl- like, if you read up. about what samurais were actually like, <laughs> yeah. like they were, they were a bunch of dickheads. Yeah, you know, they were like mean. They were very cruel to the peasants. Well, it's like there's a time period too, right? At the, the, the there's like a at the the fall of the samurai where they lose all their lords, they become ronin, and then they become like. You know, kind of lecherous losers. Yeah. Maybe this is before that or whatever. No, I think it no. was like throughout. And they would no. like test out new swords on peasants. Yeah. You know, it's Weirdo. just like, can you chill? <laughs> can you please chill? Yeah. I, I mean, it's not like it, there is a weird thing. Like, I, how much of this is real? And how much of this is like, yo, we want to die that much. I don't believe it. Yeah, I know. Really, everyone's just so ready to die. They're, everyone's ready everyone's to like, die. Everyone's like, let's fucking die. Let's you do know? this. Let's die. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Mariko, it's like an amazing character, but also at some point you're like, dude, just like you can, you can smile. I know. I, know. I don't want to be like one of those cat colors from Harlem, but like smile. Yeah. A more. Huh? You're banging a cool, hot Portuguese, British, British dude. Pirate. It's a yeah. good life. I felt bad for her husband. I mean, he I did, did beat her up in one of the episodes, so obviously I don't feel yeah. bad for that. Yeah. But his whole thing was like, I didn't want you to die. He's like, I love you. And he tries to even be redemptive at one point. She's like, oh, no, no. She, he's like, what if we kill ourselves together? Oof. And she's like, oh, no, no, you don't get it. You don't get it. I, my, I didn't want to just die. I just wanted to be away from you as much as possible. Like, Literally, that was the meanest thing ever said on that Ever said. Show. Like, all, I wanted death because it would make me go away from you. Yeah, uh, like, I just wanted to live beyond your oh, reach. Oh, oh, talk about ghosting. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Truly. Jesus Christ. And then he was just like there, and he had to be like, Arigato. Yeah, <laughs> and he just cried. Dude, that character was, was a tragic character. Very, cra- very tragic Because he was, he, was, he was bound by his own Japanese culture. He was a warrior, first and foremost. Buntaro. He, wa- he loved Mariko. It's obvious that he loved her. Yeah. And then um, his name is Buntaro, another sad thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Your, your name's like a kid's anime. Buntaro. Like, Buntaro. <laughs> um, dude, and then, you know what I also like is like, Toronaga's, uh it was the main uh, lord, and his son was like a total loser. <laughs> the you way he died just from his beard. Huh? The way he died was, of course, but you know, it it served a point. It served it a did. purpose. It did. That's how how crazy is that? Yeah. Oh my god, dude! Literally, it's like, it's like uh, he basically. I, we can't do spoilers, right? I mean, yeah. Why not? Whatever, dude. Not watch this. Why not? It's uh, he there. slipped on a rock and then hit his head and then died. He was yeah. like. Gonna kill his his, his uh, uncle. uncle, and then he slipped on the rock, and he, he died. Yeah, and everyone, you know what's even worse is after he died, everyone's uh, calling him a bitch at his own wake. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Man, how small was his dick, right? Man, he's dead. <laughs> if I go out like that, and everyone, uh, 
at my wake, it's like, man, Usama was a small dick loser who yeah. bombed all the time. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> Damn, that's brutal. He died from a wet sandwich, uh, too. Ha, ha, ha. Ew. <laughs> like, you know, the eulogies are all like, I heard Usama ate wet carrots a lot. Oh, yeah, that's what I heard, too. The main, the main trait was that. You know? Dude, that'd be so Wet shit. carrot eater, Usama Siddiqui, passed away <laughs> tragically. <laughs> who moonlighted as a... <laughs> Tying, doing what he loved, <laughs> eating a wet sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised that in um, Ghost of Tsushima, which is obviously a game that we love, yeah. that there wasn't any seppuku in that game. Oh. No, the way I played sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Like, I would just like, you know, I would die pretty a lot. Yeah, but the, you, there was no uh, function no, no, for scene. ritual self-sacrifice. Yeah, yeah. There was not. It, it, was, it had everything else Japanese. Yeah. It was super Japanese. Yeah. Guys doing grunts and stuff in a Japanese way. It was like, you know, blow darts and shit. Like the Japanese obsession with suicide is pretty amazing. I mean, I look at samurai culture, and I feel like what you're seeing there is actually the end result of like dharmic shatri culture because of the how they actually view life is not as well, the meme is like the two handshake, and it's like Japanese people and then like emo punks from the early aughts. Yeah, they're both loving the death. It's like, it, it's not that cool. It's no. not, I'm not like, wow, yeah. you're awesome. Yukio, Mishima, you're a badass. And it's like, no, dude, uh, you, you know, you're, you're fucking, uh, suicide was a sausage fest. It was. You truly. know, no one was there. You're, first of all, his, his reading, his works are all like, when I pinned her down and I. Wait, what? Like all his reading, all his like novels are like kind of. Mishima? Yeah, like rapey and shit. No, I've, I, I'm, you're talking to a semi Mishima expert here. He was not that. He that had some weird true. scenes in his books, bro. He was gay. He was gay, yes. I guess that's what I mean. <laughs> that's, that's all you mean. <laughs> Pretty gay. Uh, Pretty gay. Dude, he, huh? went, he went out like a G, dude. He really did. I don't know, bro. Do you know how he killed himself? In the city hall. He like, he like seppuku, right? Dude, first of all, and then he, he could, set he, up an organization yeah. to restore Bushido values called Order of the Knife. Right. Okay, so he had a bunch of disciples who were all samurai, right? He was and trying to bring back samurai. They all like the comic book owner from Simpsons. They okay? did not. Okay, Mishima <laughs> himself was ripped. Yeah, he looked good. He, looked he was good. he was jacked. He was obsessed with bodybuilding, mm. and because he was so disgusted with the state of post-war Japan and how the neoliberal hooks had kind of sunk in and were taking over, that and this is for the audience. Usama's getting bored. No, 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 I'm in. He 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 finished his final novel in the Sea of Sea of Fertility tetralogy, uh, handed it into his publisher, went with his disciples to the Department of Defense building. Right, right, right. Kidnapped the uh, Defense oh, yeah. Department leader. Oh yeah. Held him captive. Went on to the roof of the building, in front of the media, delivered some rousing speech about the loss of values in, I'm in gay! Japan. I'm <laughs> gay. It's like. <laughs> and then his second, Kashikunin, right? Who was possibly like his lover? Maybe I don't. I, I can't. I can't it was a weird Russian that. doll of seppuku, right? Because he, he got killed too. Right? Well, he killed himself, and then his second couldn't give him a clean it was cut. Like eight or nine slices. He couldn't the, give yeah. him a clean death. Yeah. So that's even worse. But the man, Whoa! the man did go out like a G. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I think it took like nine slices for him to die. Something like that. Yeah. Oh, my God. W were you using a fucking butter knife, buddy? I know. Seriously. Uh, hello? You should, they should practice before <laughs> they're going to do that. On like a peasant. You know? They should <laughs> definitely practice. <laughs> like when, what's her name? Mariko was going to kill herself in, in Shogun. Mm -hmm. And she was like, Anjin, who's the white guy. Yeah. I need you to be my second. Please. Since as a Christian, I can't kill myself. Yes. Like, okay. Well, you're going to get the guy who's never wielded a sword to yeah. do this. But then, you know, he's lived in Japan for that long at that, at that point. He's lived in Japan for months. Yeah, but the, he had no sword skills. Yeah, I mean, uh, you're right. You're he didn't right. didn't have any. One of the coolest scenes was when they got broken up at the end, and there was that scene, and he just takes the gun and just fucking bows. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. I thought that the... My my Tarantino ass brain thought that the the uh, her his assistant would become like a badass gun wielder because he gifted the gun to right the, right the chick. So I was like, oh, he gonna she, she gonna be like a Kill Bill his consort? coming in, ba ba, and I would have I would have cheered, yeah. but no, she became sad. I actually liked her more than Mariko in terms of hotness. Really, no, I, th I think. Uh, well, I think first of all, that woman looks more like your girlfriend right now, the one you like. 
Um, yeah. She just has the same hair. The oblong really. face. Yeah. Yeah. Mariko is your boy. Uh, I was all up in that. Oh, Kiku, of course. Kiku also has an oblong face. Yeah, sure. I'm, I'm, I'm into, I was into Kiku. I was into the old hag one, too, who was like the madam. Oh, yeah. I liked her, who's you're talking like this, just yeah, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like a carnival. Yeah. <laughs> But then, like the idea of like them, the, uh, the concept of like, I mean, this is like written by women. A lot, of, the idea of like women getting cast aside, like nothing in the society. It was, yeah. I mean, it's it's a it's a one of the main themes of the show. Yeah, right, right. Why is it that in every show, whenever they want to show that somebody's like kind of a loser, they always have him getting choked in sex? You know what I mean? Like with the the uncle or with with his half with Toronaga's half brother, <laughs> yes, yes. they show him getting banged, and he's getting he's doing her from behind, but he's also getting strang- strangled with a sash. It's just like, dude, <laughs> just calm down. That is so true. That this is how you also know that a woman wrote this. Yeah. So it's like, <laughs> how do we subjugate this man character? Let's have him getting choked and getting pegged in the back from the tea ladle that we use in the ceremony. Jesus Christ! They did, they did do that. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Great show, Shogun. Check it out. It's Japanese as hell. Shogun's incredible. It's like it, part of it though is like it's a bit too Japanese. Mm. That you can tell it's like a white person who was fascinated with Japan, made who like wrote the book and who made it. Mm. Anyway. That's what I hate about the the poems too. It's always like it's, it's like that's a beautiful poem. It's like this is it's all about the leaves on a branch. There's not one haiku that's not about leaves on a branch. It's a metaphor for something else. Puberty, leaves on a branch. I just had sex, leaves on a branch. It's like, uh, I, where's the metaphor list poems? I'm just like, fucking, I'm, I'm done with like the metaphor haikus. No, well, there's no like beat haiku poems. Give me the, like, you know I, I just mean? had good sex. <laughs> it was very fucking good. Wet sandwich. Wet sandwich, Wet yummy. Sandwich, yummy. <laughs> yummy, wet sandwich. Wish. That was four syllables, bro. Yummy wet, wet sandwich. sandwich. It Five goes syllables. into my mouth, yum. Yummy you wet, wet sandwich. sandwich. Ah. Yummy <laughs> wet, wet sandwich. sandwich. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, watch it. We love Japs. Sinese people. Japanese. Japanese people we love. Uh, we're going to talk about a little story about Malala Yousafzai. Patreon. Oh, my God. Come on down. Oh, yeah. Malala, Malala collabing with Hillary Clinton yes, in the yes. Patreon. Your mango bitch. Hey.